arms in front of you. Other elbow, so left elbow on the bottom. Hold wherever you can hold. Know that it's often one side is different than the other. And you could stretch the elbows forward. You can go side to side. You can roll in circles. You can customize it a little bit. You can stretch up. You can reach down. You can forward fold. Just allowing yourself to stretch out that spot between the shoulder blades and up in the upper back. And then come back up to center. Stretch both arms out. And then release both arms down and just sway the arms front to back a few times. How's everybody doing so far? Great, do you all feel a little tired underneath your left shoulder? And right arm goes all the way up again. And then exhale, take the right hand down beneath the right shoulder. Let's go right into the other side. Inhale, left arm up, stretch it all the way up. Exhale, take the left hand and bring it down. And moving with the breath, let's go up again. And exhale now. And just go ahead and stretch here for a moment. Feel the directions with the spine for cat and cow. It's a great stretch. And then let's do one more like this. And then come in. Down. Especially not like this. And then roll the other direction. So the idea is maybe you even reach for your ankle. Maybe you take the opposite arm up. Maybe you reach the foot back. So there's always many variations of poses. Breath, inhale here, exhale, release and shake it out. And shake out the other foot. Now this might be, that might be one of those poses that somebody walking by like, oh, that looks so easy. And you're thinking, yeah, that was not as easy as it looked, right? And then go ahead and come into the other side. Now the left foot's the standing foot. Remember one version of the pose is just to bend the right knee and lift the right knee in the air. Another version is to kick the leg back. Another version is take your hand. side of the thigh. Depends on how slippery your leggings are. And you can either bring the palms and the hands together or you can extend the arms overhead. And just find that experience of balance and steadiness even if you're wobbling. Breath, inhale here, exhale, release. And you can just go ahead and shake it out. And then go ahead and come into the other side. So just be very intentional with how you set up your hand, your foot. So I get different. So you're all practicing with the body you have right now. Using whatever variation. Beautiful deep breath, inhale here. Exhale, release it down. 
and then everyone come into plank with your knees just a little bit lifted off the mat. Draw the abdominal muscles in and now walk your hands toward your feet. You can separate your feet or heel toe your feet out a little bit and see if you can come into a squat. Shake it out. Just shake out both ankles, shake out the feet, maybe shake out the arms. Maybe even jump up and down a few times. Dance it back and forth. Perfect. Come back to center. Feet wider than your hips. Bend your knees. Take your hands to your hips and start to roll your hips in circles. Maybe you're picturing tropical drinks with little umbrellas in them. Like sustainable, eco-friendly umbrellas. And rainbow colors. And then go ahead and roll in the other direction. To feel the suppleness of the low back, the movement in the low back. And then come back to center, bend your knees, and just sway a little bit side to side. So we're feeling the rotational movement of the spine. Perfect. Come back to center. We'll do one more standing pose like this. So just go ahead and take both arms out to the side. And then cross your arms in front of you. Take your right elbow on the bottom. Now, you might be able to touch your hands for a variation of eagle pose. You might touch your shoulders. You might touch somewhere in between. And then bend your knees. We're going to start to roll the elbows in circles. <laughs> so we're stretching out that spot between the shoulder blades around the mid-back. 